everyone. You are listening to Deep Talk with Vasavi Kumar. And just wanted to introduce myself to everyone today. Um, my company is Vasavi Kumar Coaching, and I specialize in transformational coaching and speaking. So some of you may be wondering, what is that and why do you do it? So what I do is I work with people essentially in getting themselves out of their own way. Why do I do it? Because I believe that every single one of us has what it takes to achieve all of our dreams. And I've been doing this for a while and I have to say it is the most fulfilling job, so to say, that I could have possibly created for myself. And I really am here today to help all of you transform the conversation that you've been having with yourself and with other people. You see, I think when we look at how we talk to ourselves internally, we can absolutely transform the conversations that we have with other people and really have a more amazing life for ourselves. So today, we're going to be talking about forgiveness. And I wanted to talk about forgiveness on the first show because I truly believe that to move forward in your life, you have to be willing to let go of the past. We are all holding on to stuff that is really not serving us. It's just eating us up. And the, one of the first things that I do with my clients is really ask them, what's, what is it that you're holding on to? Like, What's the anger that you're holding on to? What's the resentment that you're holding on to? Because that will carry through in every single chapter of your life if you're not willing to let it go. So that's what we're going to talk about today. It is so important. It's an important topic because I think all of us in some shape or form are holding on to stuff, whether it's resentment towards our parents, towards our loved ones, friends, family, coworkers, and even with ourself, really holding on to resentment that we have with ourself. I mean, it is, it's like uh, holding on to hot coal in our hand. That's how destructive anger and resentment is. So I really want to focus on forgiving the past, forgiving people that may have hurt us, forgive ourselves for, for, for being unkind to ourselves. And what I really want to talk about today is the five stages of forgiveness. I read this really awesome book, and I recommend it to all of you. It's called Radical Forgiveness by Colin Tipping. And he talks about the five stages of radical forgiveness. There's actually a system that we can go through to forgive others and to forgive ourselves so that we can really move forward more of a clean slate. But the one thing, you know, I read something really interesting the other day. You know, I think in our society, we're trained that, you know, releasing anger is really good, right? We really want to get rid of our anger because anger is no good. It just eats away at us like Clorox, like bleach, just eating away at us. What happens is when that anger turns to hostility, that's the danger. I mean, anger is an emotion. We all have it as human beings. We experience a wide range of emotions. So anger is fine. I'm totally okay with that. You know, we all get angry at stuff. Great. Be responsible when you're angry and not hurt anyone around you, not hurt yourself. But it's when that anger turns to just this pure hostility that just eats away at you, um, it's really not good for you. And I've read a lot of studies that the number one emotional risk factor for premature death is holding on to hostility. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to really talk about releasing that hostility, forgiving others, forgiving ourselves, and really just letting it go. And if you can learn how to let go of toxic emotions such as hostility, that really is the first step in learning how to forgive. Because if we had to really look at what forgiveness is, it's basically releasing your attachment with a conditioned response. So what does that mean? When we get angry, we have a certain emotion, or when we get triggered by something, we have a certain emotion. And then if we don't actually feel that feeling or make sense out of it. We just hold on to it with a tight grip. So the first step really that we're going to be talking about later on in the show is really releasing that energy. 
And I am so excited because we have an amazing guest today on the show. Um, she's one of the first people that I met here when I moved to Kansas City from New York. Her name is Dr. Michelle Robin of Your Wellness Connection. And this is why you need to stay on to listen to her. Number one, she has built an amazing wellness practice. She's practiced chiropractic uh, medicine for over 20 years. But the reason why I love her so much is that she walks her walk and talks her talk. She has dedicated her life to helping people live a life of balance, living a life of wellness, and just really transforming your health from the inside out. So not just working on the physical aspect, not just working on the body, but really working on what's going on inside of you. So I guarantee you do not want to miss you don't want to miss this conversation that we're going to be having because we're going to be going deeper into the first two or three stages of forgiveness with her. And she has a lot to offer. And I think that if you stay on, you're going to definitely learn a lot of information that can help you in releasing that anger, that hostility, that resentment that you've been holding on to so that you can really just move forward in your life. Because one thing I know for sure from working with my clients and just people that I've come across is that we all want to be happy. We all want love for ourselves. We don't actually want to walk around angry and holding on to resentment. All we want is happiness in our life. And so the first step really is to learn how to forgive others. So if you want to learn more about how I can really help you in releasing that anger and setting up your future powerfully, you can email me at vasavi at vasavikumar.com. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash vasavikumarcoaching. And feel free to call me at 913-951-1764. Stay right there, and I'll be back with Dr. Michelle Robin. KCMO Talk Radio 710 with Sean Hannity. Barack Obama voted against raising the debt ceiling. I've, I've given you this quote a hundred times. Say it's irresponsible. Uh, we've got to live within our means. The American people deserve better. Cutting through the liberal bias and giving you the information you need. So liberals making this claim. We've got to do it now. We've got to raise the debt ceiling so we can pay our debt is, is bogus. Sean Hannity. Weekdays from 2 to 5 on KCMO Talk Radio 710. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710 or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. Welcome to Wilkins Bank. For checking, press 1. Savings, press 2. For other options, press... Other options, is that correct? Press 3. To go back... For checking, press 1. Checking, is that correct? Mortgages. Lost or stolen ATM. For fraud... If your bank won't let you talk to a real person 24-7 by pressing zero, you need an ally. Ally Bank. No nonsense. Just people sense. Member FDIC. Vasavi Kumar knows one thing for sure. She is no expert. Instead, she embodies and radiates acceptance, vulnerability, hope, and love. Drawing from a lifetime of awareness and the primal understanding that at our very core, we crave connection and truth. Vasavi knows that by sharing her authentic self, she creates a safe place for others to not only discover, but speak their own truth. Knowing that the relationships we seek begin first within, Vasavi delivers presentations that not only uplift and inspire, but encourage each attendee to dig deep, cast away doubt, and claim the truly radiant self they've too often buried under layers of expectations, disappointments, and self-criticism. To learn more about how Vasavi can support you in getting you out of your own way, visit her at VasaviKumar.com or give her a call at 913-951-1764 today. VasaviKumar.com, 913-951-1764. 
Leading economic indicators are headed lower. Housing's in a rut. The unemployment rate is hovering around 9%. Is the U.S. headed for another recession? If it is, how severe could it be and what investments tend to perform well in a weak or recessionary environment? Chris Butler, economist, portfolio manager, and host of the Capitalist Pigs radio show, answers these items and more at RecessionQuestions.com. Take a moment to learn more about how to protect your investments at RecessionQuestions.com. Business owners, do you want to know the secret to finding new customers and growing your business? How would you like to energize your sales? If you're a business owner and your customers and prospects are other businesses, then Hoover's has a special free offer just for you. Hoover's makes it easier to get you targeted prospects that can help grow your sales fast. Hoover's has key contact information on over 85 million businesses. Need direct dial phone numbers? You'll have them. Want direct email addresses of decision makers? They're in there. Want to create targeted B2B prospect lists on the fly and all online? It's all right here. Stop searching for leads and start getting them for you and your salespeople today. We're talking fully customized leads, defined by you, accessible online today. To get a free trial now, just call 800-226-0017. Try Hoover's out for free. Call 800-226-0017. 800-226-0017. 800-226-0017. Hoover's, we make it easier. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710. Or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. Michael Savage. Because the rats in the media are exactly like the bums in a tent. Scaring liberals weeknights from 5 till 8 on KCMO Talk Radio 710. Hello, everyone. You are listening to Deep Talk with Vasavi Kumar, and we're just getting into the five stages of forgiveness. But before we even get into that, I just want to say I am so excited for the guest that I have here. Not only do I go see her twice a week to get adjusted, she's an amazing chiropractor. She is such a model of just living and breathing wellness. Um, but she really has devoted her life to helping people live a well and healthy life. Um, I'm so excited to have Dr. Michelle Robin here, Chief Wellness Officer of Your Wellness Connection. So, Dr. Robin, thank you so much for taking the time out to be here. Vasity, it's my joy to be here and help spread the message. Thank you so much. And, you know, you really were the first person that I thought of. When I said, you know, the first topic of today's show, what do I want to talk about? I said, you know what? I really want to talk about releasing the past, releasing negative energy and just forgiveness, forgiving people, forgiving the circumstances, for just forgiveness and letting go so that we can really move forward in our life. And you were the first person that came to my mind because you really are the epitome of peace and just simply being. So thank you once again for taking the time out of your busy, busy day to be here. Um, so the book that I love that really talks a lot about radical forgiveness is by a man named Colin Tipping. And he is so brilliant. And he talks about the stages of forgiveness. The first stage he talks about is telling your story. What does that even mean? What does that mean to tell your story? Get it out of you. What, is, what does that even look like? I think it can uh, take shape many ways. One way could be to actually dialogue with uh, either professional, some type of therapist mm. or a life coach or, or your best friend or a parent. Mm. Parent could be tough sometimes. Yeah. It could also mean, and I, I love when uh, people take time to do this, when they write their story down. Mm. And it's painful, but it's also cathartic to uh, shift it. So you can write your story from an intellectual perspective or from an emotional perspective or both. Yeah. And so for me, telling your story really validates who you are and what you've been and what you've been through, especially if you don't get stuck in the story. 
That's so interesting that you said stuck in the story, because I think about people who walk around just holding on to the past, holding on to different chapters of their life. So would you say to the folks listening to us that the first step, really, the, the most crucial aspect, which, you know, Colin Tipping outlines, is just getting it out of you instead of holding on to it? I would say that's close to the first step. Mm-hmm. I would say the first step is really getting aware mm. of who you are and what makes you up. And then to be able to tell your story. So many times we are stuck in situations, maybe because of transference or whatever the, the word may be, is that we are not being our authentic self. Mm. And I think that it's easy to be present when you're being authentic mm. because you're not fearful about what's next because you're living holy. Okay. So when we talk about telling your story, are is it like... <laughs> How long would you say the process might take to actually get that off of you, like out, out of you? How long do you think that'll take? You know, everybody's different. So yeah. perfect example. I, this is a great time for this show. I met with a client about, oh gosh, six, eight weeks ago, and they're in their late 30s, and they had a traumatic first chiropractic experience in their uh, teens. Mm. And so immediately, of course, a red flag went up in my mind, okay, what triggered that? especially when the technique was a very mild technique. Um, None of the cracking, popping that people might be suspecting. Mm -hmm. And so I had this, what I said to this young woman is I said, do me a favor. I want you to write me your story. Tell me what you've been through. And I want you to start at birth from the time your mother was pregnant all the way to now and break it down. And I kept wondering, why am I not hearing back from her? You know, what, what happened? And all of a sudden, I got the story yesterday by email. And she said, this seems kind of weird telling my doctor all this stuff, but I'm going to trust that you have a reason for asking me all this. So mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. And she proceeded uh, proceeded to read a, a three-page email that talked about some of the dramas and traumas of her life mm-hmm. and that got got her where she asked, was at today. So in her, in her case, it took time. Mm-hmm. And um, sometimes you may need to sit with family members and help write your story. And some people, including myself, if it wasn't a pretty story, so I blocked a lot of it out. And at some point you say, gosh, I could go dre- dredge it all up. And I think I've dredged up what I needed to dredge up, but just let it go. You know, there's an old saying, let go and let God. Yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting because I think when we think of forgiveness and letting go, we don't, we don't take into consideration the physical impact of holding on to a story. Now, you see, I don't know, a lot of patients a day, me being one of them. And I'm wondering, in your experience, what have you found that holding on to resentment, anger, grudges, what's the impact of that on the physical body? What's well, the toxicity? Much like maybe drinking soda all day long or um, having lots of sugar or having lots of gluten for some people. There's toxic thoughts, there's toxic chemicals, there's toxic energies. And the vibration of anger and resentment is just um, negative to your body. So it could be pain, it could be uh, inflexibility, um, it could be digestive distress, many things like that. I remember when I first went to see you, Dr. Robin, my lower back and my hips were a hot mess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was in a lot of pain. You're listening to Deep Talk with... Vasavi Kumar, and I am here with Dr. Michelle Robin, and we're talking about forgiveness. And we just finished talking about the physical impact of um, holding on to grudges, grudges and, and resentment and anger. And um, I remember the first time I went to Dr. Robin, I just had so much lower back and hip pain. And I, I read in a book that really that's where your anger and that's where all of your anxiety just just puts itself. And through chiropractic adjustment, meditation, and prayer, I can honestly say that it's literally been like a complete 180 since the first time I've come to see you till now. So not only is it emotionally, mentally draining, but it it does, it's like putting poison throughout your body. So yeah, it's still, and it still is your joy. mm -hmm. And it, and people are not able to be as fluid in the world as they want to be. And next thing you know, they have pain Mm. or disease. So for all of you out there, if, if any of this is resonating with you, I highly recommend checking out Dr. Michelle Robin and her team and seeing how they can support you. You can learn more about your wellness connection at 
www.yourwellnessconnection.com. Their staff is so amazing, so I recommend that you call them if you have any questions, 913-962-7408. So I want to go on to um, the second stage, which I think it's been very hard for me to do this, and I know that you can shed so much insight um, on feeling your feelings. How does one feel their feelings? Well, that's a great question. You know, I think that... Feeling your feelings, that's a really good one for me, especially, mm-hmm. is to possibly, you know, get into some type of movement mm-hmm. to also honor the space. When you find yourself running from place to place, not taking time to take a deep breath or not taking time to slow down, that's a sign that you're not feeling your feelings. I remember I used to work, 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 sleep, work, 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 work. And now I mm-hmm. work, 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 and then I sleep, sleep, have a little bit of fun, mm-hmm. work, 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 work. So I'm still working on that process of feeling my feelings at a whole nother level. But when you feel dis- dissonance or anxiousness, to me, that's lack of feeling your feelings. Mm. So so l- let me ask you, th- I'm, I'm asking you all the questions because I do know how much wisdom you have. You know, there have been all of us listening, and, and me included, and I'm sure you, people that have hurt us, people that have said unkind things to us, you know, our our parents, our friends, colleagues, things that we are told that we just, it just hurts to even think about it. So how does, like, and it just feels so painful to even think about it, right? Like, I, there are um, people that I've deleted from my cell phone because I see their name and they were the source of some sort of pain or agita or an anxiety. And I've just had to delete it because even seeing their name brings about such, like, painful feelings. So... I think as a as a society, we're constantly looking for ways to fill us up externally, right? Like, let me do this. This will make me happy. Or always searching for the, my dad always says, says is the bigger, better deal, the BBD, the, the, you know, the next big house, the, the next car, the next vacation. And I really see the value in, although it's painful, really feeling into the wound, really feeling into the pain. How do we even, how do we even do that? And I, I know you mentioned movement, but what are some ways that you've really kind of felt into like pain, like that, that wound? Well, I think probably um, the biggest way I have is I've done a process called the Hoffman process. Mm. And in that process, there's four steps, getting aware and then bashing physically, cathartically, have an experience of, re- of removing or getting into the emotion uh, and emotion creates motion, right? Mm-hmm. And then you get defend it and then you recycle it. So for me, it was really that process that helped a lot. And, you know, when you squeeze lemons, if you get out oranges, there's a problem. Mm-hmm. And I think that what happens is sometimes we are tested. And I have, you know, the good news is I have, you know, maybe 20 years on you. And so that helps not have as much dissonance mm-hmm. when somebody doesn't like you or they say something about you. There's that saying, what you think about me is none of my business. What I think about me is all of my business. I love that. And so how do we continue to be so true to ourselves that we don't let the outside world reflect into us who we are? We let the inside of who we are reflect to the outside of the world. Mm -hmm. And the more that I'm in tune with my own self, the more joy I bring to my life, the more attractable I am to other people from a vibration level. So when you start to feel your feelings, I think it's just honoring that when you are feeling chaotic inside, or you're feeling ungrounded to say, hmm, what is the source of this? So for instance, if I am feeling that dissonance inside, I'll go, okay, Michelle, what happened? You were in harmony at nine o'clock. It's now 1030. In the last 90 minutes, what happened? Was it an email that I read? Was it um, somebody saying I need to talk to you? Was it seeing that vibration of possibly somebody who we think has done some harm to us? Mm -hmm. And they may just be our growth, as Wayne Dyer says. Some people are the turd that won't flush in your life, right? Mm -hmm. Just to help us grow to the next level. So for me, I try to figure out at what moment did I lose peace? And I look at that and I start to think about what story am I telling myself about that? And is it really true? Mm -hmm. As Byron Katie would say, is it really true? Thank you so much, Dr. Robin, for being here. Your words of wisdom, your presence is just so beautiful. And 
Everyone, if you want some of that, it's not hard. It's literally 913-962-7408. You can also check out Dr. Michelle Robbins' website at yourwellnessconnection.com. They're located on 7410 Schweitzer in Shawnee, Kansas. And you are listening to Deep Talk with Vasavi on KCMO 710 AM. It's the KCMO Morning Show with Greg Knapp. Senator Pat Roberts. Senator, how are you this morning? Good morning, Greg. Let's talk a little bit about the Republican race here. And is anybody standing out to you that you're saying, I kind of like this guy? I, you know, there are sometimes, I know that um, this is a dreadful thing to say, but there are sometimes in the middle of a debate I will switch over to NCIS. <laughs> I don't blame you one little bit. Leroy Jethro Gibbs, he's my candidate. <laughs> Greg Knapp, weekdays from 5 to well, 9 on KCMO Fox News Radio, I'm Jane Metzler. I feel like I lost a family member. Fans devastated by the death of legendary singer Whitney Houston, the 48-year-old in L.A. for the Grammys, found unresponsive Saturday in a room at the Beverly Hilton. We presume that the autopsy would happen today. They did it the very next day on Michael Jackson, but that was a weekday. Remember, it will take weeks before toxicology reports would come back, and that is crucial here with all of the allegations uh, of substance abuse and that would determine if she had prescription drugs, illegal drugs or alcohol in her system. Fox's Casey Stegall. These are always knockdown, drag out fights. It takes four years for people to forget it was just like this four years ago. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell on CBS's Face the Nation about the GOP primary contest. Mitt Romney winning the main caucuses. Ron Paul a close second. Fox News. We report. You decide. Expect sunny skies, light winds, and cold temperatures again today. Our highs will reach into the low 30s this afternoon. Under sunny skies, clouds will increase late this evening in anticipation of a winter storm set to impact the area Monday. A winter weather advisory has been issued effective at midnight until 6 p.m. Monday. Heavy snow is expected to begin falling early Monday morning, which could have a significant impact on your morning commute. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo for KCTV5. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710, or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710. Or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. Vasavi Kumar knows one thing for sure. She is no expert. Instead, she embodies and radiates acceptance, vulnerability, hope, and love. Drawing from a lifetime of awareness and the primal understanding that at our very core, we crave connection and truth. Vasavi knows that by sharing her authentic self, She creates a safe place for others to not only discover, but speak their own truth. Knowing that the relationships we seek begin first within, Vasavi delivers presentations that not only uplift and inspire, but encourage each attendee to dig deep, cast away doubt, and claim the truly radiant self they've too often buried under layers of expectations, disappointments, and self-criticism. To learn more about how Vasavi can support you in getting you out of your own way, visit her at VasaviKumar.com or give her a call at 913-951-1764 today. VasaviKumar.com, 913-951-1764. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710, or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. 
You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710, or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. KCMO, where opinions count, especially yours. Take a stand with Kansas City's talk station. KCMO Talk Radio 710. Hello, everyone. You are, we are back, and we are listening to Deep Talk with Vasavi Kumar. And... You know, Deep Talk really is about transforming the conversations that we have with ourselves and other people. And so how appropriate is it that our topic today is forgiveness? First, I just want to say thank you to Dr. Michelle Robin for being such an awesome human being and guest. And you are such a gift to all of us, Dr. Robin. Thank you. And I'm so excited because we have our first caller. Hi. Hello, Kim. Hi. Where are you calling from? Kansas City. Kansas City. I'm so happy that you're calling in. Tell me, what's your question today? Yeah, my question was, they say forgiveness is for yourself, um, not really for others. And my question to you is, do you really believe that no matter how horrible the wrong? And just to kind of follow that, is it possible to really forgive and forget? That's a great, great question, Kim. And I I actually wrote it down that I think there are two parts to your question. First, you said, you know, they say forgiveness is for others and not for yourself. Right. And and I want to challenge that a little bit and say, you know, I think when you forgive others, in essence, you really are forgiving yourself. Because if you think about it, when you're holding on to that anger, it's actually hurting you. You know, I I read this really great quote, Kim. It's by Nelson Mandela. And he says that holding a resentment is like drinking poison and hoping it'll kill your enemy. (laughs) Right. So when you're angry at someone else and you haven't forgiven them at the end of the day, you're the one sleeping with that anger. So I actually do think that when you forgive someone, you really are forgiving yourself. And so that's a really great question. And the second part of your question was, is it possible to forgive and forget? So here's what I think. Is it possible to forgive? Absolutely. The forgetting part is where I think we often stop short because that's all the emotion and all the sadness and the drama that we hold on to. But I think that that's the inside job, right? Like you can't really expect anyone else to help you heal your pain. But you can absolutely forgive someone and it may take time for you to really heal the wound inside and you can't expect anyone to help you do that. I mean, you could talk to a therapist or work with a coach about that, or, you know, talk to a talk to a friend. But at the end of the day, that pain that is left behind, that memory, it really is up to you to kind of work through that. And that's it's a great question. And we're going to be talking about that later on in the show. Okay. Thank you so much for your call, Kim. Thank you so much for your insight. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a great day. Guys, we have been talking about forgiveness, and we just went over the first two stages of radical forgiveness by by uh, Colin Tipping. And, you know, the first the first step is really telling your story. I like to say that this means really being a victim. Getting the story out of you. You know, I think oftentimes we don't realize when we talk about our story to other people and this person hurt me and it hurt me so bad. We're just being victimized by the pain that's been, you know, caused. And the first step, I think, is really one of my favorites because you really just get to be a victim. Just get it out because you've been holding on to it for so long. Why bother holding on to it? Just get it out of you. You know, it's just like purging. Um, I had a a wardrobe consultant come in and check out my 
my closet because she said I was dressing like a college student and we literally purged 80% of my closet and it felt so good because I got rid of stuff that I just didn't need to be wearing anymore. It's the same thing. Just get rid of your story. Talk about it with someone. Get it out of you. Write it out until you're so tired of talking about it. Okay, that was the first step that we talked about. Second was really feeling your feelings. I don't think we give ourselves permission to really feel what we're feeling. So this could mean just being still, meditating, spending some quiet time. Journaling is a great tool when you just want to get your feelings out and just feel it and just be with it, right? Not having to actually do anything. The third step, which is my favorite step is because this is a lot of what I do with my clients is collapsing the story. Essentially, what this is really doing is looking at what's the story behind the story, right? What's the interpretation of the event? Most likely, the pain that you are feeling or what you've been triggered by is something that happened in childhood. Many times we're triggered and hurt by what people say and do, because something similar like that happened in our childhood. It may not even be a similar situation, but the feeling is definitely the same. So I'm going to I'm gonna get a little personal here, okay? So I, I, I'm actually a newlywed. I've been married for a year and two months. Woohoo to marriage. And um, there are times that my husband and I, when we, when we first got married, you know, we'd sit and eat. And I love to talk while I eat. I mean, clearly I love to talk. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on the radio. But my husband loves to really get into his food, meaning he just likes to stay really quiet as he eats. He's really, really connected to his food. And I used to take it so personally. I would make it mean all of these things like, you don't think I'm pretty. I'm not important. You're ignoring me. You don't care about me. And I really had to stop for a second and ask myself, What's really going on here? Is this really about him not talking while we're eating? Or is there something going on? And there was. See, I remember a time when I was a kid uh, that, you know, my mom was really busy. She's a doctor, very successful doctor back in New York. And she was just tired when she would when she would come home. And I was just a five or a six year old wanting her attention. And she was just busy or exhausted. And I would try to get her attention and she wouldn't talk to me because she was just tired. And now I see that as an adult. But it was a total light bulb moment for me because here I was thinking that or making or giving so much meaning to this, like, oh, my God, my husband doesn't love me. We're going to not stay married. And then when I looked back and looked at what's the story behind this story, I was still that hurt five-year-old, six-year-old girl wanting attention from her mom. And so I, instead of really holding on to that story, like, oh, my husband doesn't love me, it just really gave me perspective. So it really had me look at, is it that he really doesn't love me or is that this is just very familiar to something that happened in my childhood? So in the book, Radical Forgiveness, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about collapsing the story, really looking at what's the story behind the story. So, you know, I invite all of you, if you're looking at a story or some painful event that's happened to you that you haven't really made meaning out of or you've been holding on to it, Really asking yourself, looking back, digging a little deeper, really, what is this really about? And if you want to talk more about this and really start collapsing the stories in your life, because that's the stuff that's holding you back, give me a call at 913-951-1764, or you can email me at vasavi at vasavikumar.com. Check out my website also, www.vasavikumar.com, and... The next thing that we're going to talk about is the fourth stage of radical forgiveness. This is about reframing the story. This is so perfect because it's all about changing your perspective, right? I think a lot of times we look at our suffering as painful and horrible. I'm actually inviting you guys to do something, do, do something a little outrageous. Start looking at the painful event as a gift. Let me give you an example. I had a friend back in the day. Uh, probably when I was about 20. Oh, my God. And when I talk about it, I can still feel the pain. I'm not going to lie. She said something to me. She said, you know what, Vasavi? Your life is going to go down, 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 and my life is going to go up. 
at that time, I felt like someone stabbed me in my heart and twisted the knife. I'm sure all of you have felt something like that. If we're talking about reframing the story and shifting the perception from tragedy to gift, really, what is the lesson that I needed to learn? Why did the universe put this person, put this situation in my life? It will totally change your perspective. When I look at that girl and what she said to me, what she said to me now was such a gift because those words have been the driving force for the majority of my life. It's been like, oh, no, you didn't just say that. I am not going to go down in life. Actually, you don't know who you're talking to. Now, obviously, you don't want that to be your fuel, anger or hostility to be your fuel. But I guess the really the, the lesson here is what's another way of looking at what happened? Yes, we can be a victim to the pain. And yes, it's going to hurt. And no one's saying that, you know, don't feel your feeling and it, it was unfair, whatever happened to you. But this is really about looking for the gold. The universe does not put things into your life as a mistake. There are no mistakes. Why did this person come into your life? Why did you have to experience this pain? There must be some lesson. So if you want to talk about really those kind of situations, what's the lesson? And to really have that objective person, that mirror, so to say, to reflect, that's what I do for a living. Give me a call, 913-951-1764. Set up your one-hour coaching session with me. You can do that on my website at www.vasavikumar.com. And you've been listening to Deep Talk with Vasavi. We've been talking about forgiveness this whole time. The five, the, we've just gone over the four stages of radical forgiveness. Next up, we're going to be talking about the last stage of forgiveness, and really now what? What are we going to do? Now we have all of this awareness, all of this knowledge. How are we going to actually put this into action? Stay tuned for more. KCMO Talk Radio 710 with Laura Ingram. 97 Democrats don't think there's a debt problem in the United States, or we can call them just debt deniers. She's outspoken. They're very masculine sounding, don't you think? My voice is lower than his. Opinionated. I, I, this is all anecdotal for me. And not afraid to tell the truth. So he was all thrilled about meeting Obama, though that's a shock. Laura Ingram, weekdays from 9 to 11 on KCMO Talk Radio 710. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710 or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today. 913-707-8710 or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains and they fix yours. When you need a new roof, deciding who to call can be a difficult decision. You want a reputable and responsible company, one that will see the job through from the initial call to the day the work is completed. And most importantly, a company that stands behind their work. That, my friends, is Lee's Summit Roofing. I've been recommending them to you for years now. They'll make sure the job is done right every time. Call Lee's Summit Roofing today, 816-554-8585. Vasavi Kumar knows one thing for sure. She is no expert. Instead, she embodies and radiates acceptance, vulnerability, hope, and love. Drawing from a lifetime of awareness and the primal understanding that at our very core, we crave connection and truth. Vasavi knows that by sharing her authentic self, she creates a safe place for others to not only discover, but speak their own truth. Knowing that the relationships we seek begin first within, Vasavi delivers presentations that not only uplift and inspire, but encourage each attendee to dig deep, cast away doubt, and claim the truly radiant self they've too often buried under layers of expectations, disappointments, and self-criticism. 
To learn more about how Vasavi can support you in getting you out of your own way, visit her at VasaviKumar.com or give her a call at 913-951-1764 today. VasaviKumar.com, 913-951-1764. So does the rest of the economy. CSX trains are the most cost-efficient way to move goods to market. CSX, how tomorrow moves. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710, or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. By August of next year, your medical billing and coding methods become critical to the financial success of your practice. That's when American converts to ICD-10, and your coders must be certified in over 140,000 new codes. Certification is time-consuming and costly, and you risk an increase in claim denials. Purpose Billing Services is your billing and coding solution. Their staff is certified and experienced. Contact them for a free quote today, 913-707-8710, or visit them on the web at PurposeBilling.com. You fix your patients' aches and pains, and they fix yours. Right now. Take the survey right now at KCMOTalkRadio710.com. Are you ready to join the Lathrop District and go to a four-day school week? KCMOTalkRadio710.com. You are listening to Deep Talk with Vasavi Kumar. Today's topic is forgiveness. And we've been talking about the five stages of radical forgiveness. And we're on to our fifth stage, which is integration. Now that we know all of this amazing awareness and knowledge about forgiveness and why it's so important, now what? What's the action we're going to take? But before we get into that, um, we have another caller. Valerie, how can I help you? Hi, Vasavi. I'm really enjoying your show. Thank you so much, Valerie. So my my issue is that about 10 years ago at one of my former jobs, um, I did not really get along with my boss very well, and I, I don't know what it was really. She just didn't particularly care for me, and that's all fine, and, and, and water under the bridge and such, but it was 10 years ago, and I've really try to just let it go and realize that, you know, there might have been some things on my side and certainly there were some things on her side. But now, 10 years later, I am starting to run into her. And there, and I've tried to be really friendly with her and she just is not <laughs> at all. Mm. And so it's kind of causing a little bit of a, an issue and it's stirring up all of these old feelings and such in me too for something that I thought that I had let go. Um, and I just am not quite sure how to handle that. That's a great question, Valerie. And I totally relate to it being like 10 years old and you're still like, what the heck? I thought I let it go. You know, you would, I'm, I'm sure you're still wondering why are you still holding on to it or how is it even possible? that you're holding on to it? Well, here's the thing. It actually sounds like you have let go. It sounds like she hasn't. And that, that's, I mean, that's kind of how it feels when I have when I've run into her and, you know, I just try to be polite and cordial and go up and say hi and, um, and that kind of thing. But, and she's kind of snapped back um, with, you know, little biting comments. Um, so it, it feels like it's her, but it, but it still, it still has an impact on me. And then I have like these negative feelings that churn up because of it. You know, I'm going to actually invite you to practice the third and the fourth stage of forgiveness, Valerie, the, the third being collapsing the story. Like what's your interpretation of her snapping at you? What are you making that mean about you? And the fourth stage, 
really ask yourself, what is the lesson that she is teaching you? Hmm. What do you, why do you think it is that even though it's been 10 years and even though you think that you've forgiven her and let it go and you've moved on, that that's the interaction that you're still having with her, right? So just, I invite you to really step back and be like, what is it that I need to learn from this woman? There's a reason why this is happening. Okay. So, um, Valerie, thank you so much for your question. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's, that's good insight. I'll, I'll take that into consideration. Anytime, Valerie. Have a great day. So we are back, and we're on the last stage of radical forgiveness. The last stage is really, I mean, I, I think I've said almost all of them are my favorite, but this is really my favorite because this is what I do with my clients is really having them gain the awareness, expand the awareness about themselves, and then take the action. So many people want to see transformation and change in their life and don't really know how. Maybe it's not that they don't want to. They just don't know how to really integrate all of the knowledge that they have. And that's really what this stage is, integration. Be the lesson that you learn. Embody the lesson that you learn. This is really where we're taking action. So, all right, you've forgiven this person. You have let go of the resentment. Like you can finally feel like yourself again, like you're in touch with yourself and you're not holding all the weight of the world on you. Now what? Now you can do anything because up until this point, all that stress and anger and negative energy has been holding you down. But if you're still kind of stuck and you haven't reached this place yet, there are tons of tools that I want to offer you guys. The first is just making a list. Make a list of all the people, all the circumstances, everything that's happened to you, all the things that you want to forgive, but you have a hard time forgiving. Just write it out. So get it out of you. I love writing stuff on paper because then you can actually see it and be like, wow, I can't believe I've holding, been holding on to this. The second is to call me, obviously, 913-951-1764. Visit my website at www.vasavikumar.com and you can sign up right there for a 60-minute coaching session with me. The third tool is really to read the book Radical Forgiveness. It's a little dense, but it's so juicy. It is so good and gives so many tips. And I'm a huge fan of writing because I think we walk around with all of these thoughts in our head. So just get it out on paper. The first thing is to write a letter just about how you're feeling. Like get it all out of there. Be a victim, right? We kind of talked about that in stage one of radical forgiveness. The second letter is write the letter from the perspective of the other person, from the person that's hurt you. This is really key in having you change your perspective and also developing compassion. Step three is to write a letter as a neutral observer. Like, you're not you, you're not this other person, you're just like a little birdie observing this whole situation. Then share these letters with someone that you love, someone that you trust. And then the last step is to burn it. Yeah, it really is just to burn it. Because like I said before, anger, resentment, hostility, it's all like holding a piece of hot coal in your hand. So just burn it because you deserve to be happy and um, just remember that forgiveness is a gift it's a gift to yourself because you want to be happy you want to be free from hostility and resentment you don't want to walk around with that it's just like a big suitcase on your back and on your head that you're just walking around with and you deserve to have a better life So we've been talking about the five stages of radical forgiveness here on Deep Talk, and there is so much more that we can be talking about. But I invite you guys to give me a call, 913-951-1764. You can check out my website at www.vasavikumar.com. And stay tuned every Sunday at 11 a.m. on KCMO 710. 